Ms. McKenzie. I'll be your nurse today. Today we're going to do a focused physical assessment of your head, neck, mouth, throat, ears, and chest region. It will not hurt and it should only take a few minutes. Do you have any questions? No. Right. What is your name? Jimmy Bly. What is your date of birth? June 14, 1941. Where are you at? The hospital. And who is the president? Donald Trump. You want to ask these questions to make sure that your patient is oriented and alert. Next, we're going to feel your scalp, which is as normal. Then we're going to feel the sinuses. And then I'm going to ask him to follow my pen light with just your eyes, but don't move your head. Okay? Good job. When you do that, you want to make sure you watch for any movements of the eyes that are not normal movements. So if they're shaking a little bit. Now I'm going to check your pupil, pupil reactions. Are you ready? This light's going to be a little bright. I'll give you a second. <laughs> it's very important that whenever you look in your patient's eyes, that both of their eyes dilate at the same time. Then I'm going to look in your ears. I see that you have your hearing aids in today. Yeah. Do you have the batteries replaced in them? Uh, I think so. Good job! It's important that we keep them checked there in place so you can hear everyone properly. I'm going to look up your nose, okay? Look in your mouth. Say ah. Good job. All right. Now I'm going to feel for your lip notes under here, which all of that is normal. And then I need you to smile for me. Good job. When they smile, you want to check for facial drooping, which could be an indicator of a stroke. All right. Can you move your shoulders up? Can you push my hands? Push them. As hard as you can. Right. Can you pull against my hands? Right. Can you squeeze my hands? Yeah. All right. When you do that, you want to make sure that what the patient is doing is equal on both sides of their body. Right. Then I need your hand, please. Okay. I'm going to pinch it and test your skin character. Oh, but yours is perfect. Then I'm going to check this cap refills while I'm at it, which they are all normal too. They're under two seconds. And then next, I'm going to have you lift up your arms. I'm going to feel for any lumps. Since he has emphysema, it is important that if he has lumps, we need to get them checked out because it can be a possible indicator of lung cancer. Do you smoke, sir? <laughs> Yeah. Do you smoke? No. Oh, good. All right, now I'm going to listen to your lungs, okay? Okay. So when I say okay, you're going to have to take a deep breath in and then take a deep breath out. Take a deep breath in. 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 All right. And then can I have you lean forward? All right, now I'm going to listen to the patient's lungs on his back so I can hear both sides of his lungs. We're going to do the same thing as before. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath in. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. Deep breath. Take a deep breath in. Deep 
Since our patient has emphysema, I noticed that he had slightly diminished lung sounds in his lower bases of his lungs. So this is probably attributing to his emphysema. Do you take anything for your emphysema when you feel short of breath? I take a breathing treatment. Is it albuterol? I think so. Perfect. So this should help clear up his emphysema. Next I'm going to listen to your heart for any abnormalities. I will listen to his heart for one minute. For the sake of this video, I'm going to listen to it for less than a minute. Alright. Perfect. Now I've completed a whole physical assessment of my patient's head, neck, nose, mouth, throat, ears, lungs, and heart. Thank you for watching.